Hi my honeys, Erica here, and I have an awesome video planned for you guys today. This time I hit the Dollar Tree and I wanted to do some fall Dollar Tree crafts, some little DIY projects. But then when I brought them all home, I realized that I really wanted to use one particular spray paint color that's the most beautiful, creamy, white color that looks great in any season, but especially for fall. It's the perfect neutral. So these are four Dollar Tree fall DIY crafts with one color spray paint. I really hope you enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Give this video a like, leave a comment down below if you wanna see more Dollar Tree craft ideas. And thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy the video. First up, it's a faux ceramic candle. I'm taking this glass candle holder from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to give it a quick spray paint of the Heirloom Satin White spray paint I'm gonna be using from Rust-Oleum throughout this entire video. And I'm also going to turn it into a candle. I do have a YouTube video on how to make your own natural essential oil candles and you can check that out. I did give it a couple of coats of the spray paint to make sure it was good and covered and here's the final result. For my second project, I'm making these super cool textured fluted vases. I'm taking a hot glue gun, two glass canisters from the Dollar Tree, and I found two different sizes. One is a bit taller than the other one. And these amazing wood dowels, I was so excited to find these, and Gorilla Hot Glue sticks. I ended up not using the quick grip glue. You could use that, but I felt the hot glue gun was way easier. And all I'm doing is putting a very thin line onto the glass canister and I am pressing down firmly and making sure they each line up with each other. You wanna make sure that as you're doing this all the way around the base, that they're as straight up and down as they possibly can be and that they don't go past the glass on the bottom so the vase still lays flat. You wanna repeat this process all the way around the vase. And honestly, if you wanted to and you had a saw nearby, you can make these dowel sizes shorter or taller. You can alternate. It's really up to you, but for this particular project, I decided to keep them all the same height. So you're just gonna keep taking your glue gun, putting a line down next to the other dowel and putting one on until you go all the way around each of the vases. Here's what it looks like when I had about half of the vase done. I love the texture it adds to the glass vase, and we're gonna make it look like real ceramic once we give it a coat of spray paint. Now there is a gap in the back, and that's totally fine. If it doesn't line up perfectly around your vase, just remember that you can just always turn that towards the back. Here's what the tall one looks like with all of the dowels on it as well. And now it's time for spray paint. Here is our trusty heirloom satin white spray paint from Rust-Oleum and I'm giving it a really, really good coat of spray paint, actually a few coats because the dowels did wanna soak up the paint a little bit. But once you get a really good coat on it, you guys, these turned out so beautiful. They look like they're straight out of CB2. No one would ever believe that these were made with Dollar Tree supplies, check it out. For my third project, I'm making this tasseled bead garland. And you won't believe what I'm using. <laughs> Plastic eyeballs from the Halloween section. I just thought they would make such perfect beads, so I decided to drill holes in them. Just be really careful. Make sure you have a box or a piece of wood that you can drill all the way through and it won't damage your floors. And I'm drilling a hole all the way through and then I'm threading it onto a piece of jute string that I also got from the Dollar Tree. It does take a little finagling to get it through, but it wasn't that hard. Come on, Erica, you can do it. Pull her through. <laughs> Success. So as you can see, it looks like a tassel garland, or not a tassel garland, it looks like a bead garland right now. We haven't added the tassels yet. And I had to do multiple coats of spray paint of the heirloom satin white from Rust-Oleum to cover the red and the blue eyeballs. It didn't take that many coats. Honestly, after two coats, it was really just some touch-up work. 
You just wanna make sure they're good encoded though so they don't peep through. This is how they turned out. And now it's time to add some tassels on the end. So I grabbed some yarn from the Dollar Tree and I used an orange color because it is fall and I thought it'd be fun to have a pop of color on the end. So all I'm gonna do to make these tassels, and you can apply this to any tassels you make at home, you just take some kind of rectangular or square object and you're gonna wrap the yarn around multiple times in a row until you have a decently thick stack of yarn on your book. I like using books because they're nice and firm. Just keep wrapping, just keep wrapping. <laughs> and then once you feel like you have enough, you can cut it off and then you wanna cut a piece to then tie in the very center of that area. Center of all the strands. Tie it tight, make sure you double knot it. And then you're gonna flip your book over and you're gonna cut at the very center. And that's gonna give you your little tassel. And then those short strings on the ends that you use to tie it on, you can use to tie onto your tassel garland. I'm just tying it onto the beaded garland now. And then I'm gonna trim the excess off so that all you see is just that little tassel on the end. And I'm gonna repeat this process on the other side as well so that I have tassels on both sides. And this is what it ended up looking like. Honestly, don't these look so good for eyeballs? My last DIY is super simple. I saw this really cheap looking pumpkin tray at the Dollar Tree. It's super shiny and plasticky. And I'm like, oh, I know I can make this better. So what I'm gonna do is turn it into a faux textured stone platter. I'm taking my stone faux textured spray paint from Rust-Oleum in bleached white and I'm coating the heck out of this thing, adding tons of texture. If you don't have this spray paint, it's a good one to have in your arsenal. I found mine at the Home Depot and it adds so much texture. And then all you have to do is go in now after it's dry with your heirloom white satin spray paint from Rust-Oleum and cover it all up so that it's one color, but you get all that texture. You guys, I love how this one turned out. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.